upgrading to Primavera P6 Professional release 16.1 on a standalone system. With the first release of Primavera P6 Professional for 2016, you can now download and install release 16.1 from the Oracle Software Cloud. The upgrade process is simple and takes less than five minutes if you have all the necessary database information and credentials available before you get started. While this video shows the upgrade process for release 16.1, the process is virtually identical for all prior releases. Upgrading to P6 release 16.1 is a two-step process. First you back up and then upgrade any P6 databases you already have on your system. In this example, you will be seeing a Microsoft SQL Server Express database being updated. Having downloaded and unzipped the Primavera P6 Professional for ePPM media package, we navigate to its database folder. In here, you will find a batch file called dbsetup.bat. When double-clicked, the dbsetup file will run the Primavera P6 database setup wizard. In here, you choose the options you want, i.e. to install a new database, or in our case, choose the upgrade an existing database option. For the server type, we are choosing Microsoft SQL Server for our database type. Obviously, if you are using an Oracle Express database, you'd have left this option at default. Click Next and now enter your connection information. In this case, we just needed to give it the system administrator's password and the name of the database. All the other settings are common defaults that should work with most standard MS SQL Server installations. Having entered our database connection info, we click Next and confirm we want to upgrade the selected database. And to start the process, we click the Upgrade button. When the process completes, click Next. This takes you to the Finish page. If you have additional databases to upgrade, you can click the Next button and go through the same process for those additional databases. Otherwise, just click the Finish button to close out the dialog. Once you've completed the database upgrade process, you can proceed with the client application. To run this, we locate the setup.exe file in the root directory of the installation media. We double click on this file to start the installation process. This is typically a fairly quick and simple process. Again, we click run when we see the security warning. This allows the Primavera P6 Professional 16.1 setup wizard to run. It will warn us that it has found a previous version of P6 installed on the system, and this will be upgraded if we continue. We'll also go with the default typical install option by clicking OK in the first dialog. In the following ready to install Primavera P6 Professional dialog, we'll click the install button. After a few moments the software is installed. The duration of this process will largely depend on your system, but it can be anywhere from one minute on a fast system to several minutes on slower systems. At the conclusion of the installation, you will be prompted to run some other optional tools. By default, the database configuration option is checked. This may not be necessary, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll walk you through the process. When we click OK, we see the database configuration wizard. We click Next and verify the server host name is correct. This appears to be in order. In the public login information dialog, we need to re-enter the pub user, username and password. We don't need to do anything with the public group ID. Click Next and the wizard informs us that it will validate the database connection. We click Next here and if all is well, we'll see a connection successful dialog appear. In here we can click Finish. Assuming all is well, we should now be able to run the software. From here, we'll run the new version, and here's our first look at Primavera P6 Professional, release 16.1.